I see your box lighting up, but I don't hear your voice. Katie Glee. Hello, can you hear me? If I can now, please tell your name, where you live, and you have two minutes. Um, my name is Katie Guy. I'm a resident of Providence, uh, living in Ward 11. I'm really appreciative of everyone who's called in and want to acknowledge all the work organizers and community members have put into this movement. I'm calling to say that I stand with our city's youth and many of your constituents in supporting defunding and eventually abolishing the police. Young people in Providence have been asserting their needs and fighting to make change in their education and communities for as long as I've known. Over the past 10 years since I moved to Providence, I've had the privilege of working with some of Rhode Island's brilliant and talented youth at organizations like New Urban Arts, River's Edge Arts, and City Arts. It's through conversation and my work with young people that I'm confident in an alternative to our current punitive system. I learned from students about the Counselors Not Cops initiative spearheaded by the Providence Student Union, PSU. PSU members, all high school students, spoke publicly inside Providence City Hall in December of 2018. Students shared their own experience with police officers inside and outside of schools and referred um, and referenced both national and local statistics about the harmful effects of having cops in schools. Students from Providence Public Schools address the needs for counselors, nurses, and social workers, adults trained in mental health and de-escalation tactics, adults working to make the school safer, not cops with guns. PSU issued their demands, which included eliminating the SRO presence and the contract between the Providence Police Department and Providence School Department, and to reallocate re funding currently provided for SROs within the Providence Police Department and support the hiring of a new health and safety staff. Students are actively speaking up about feeling unsafe in schools with police present, and the council's recognition of this request is long overdue. Recently, I've attended protests and demonstrations organized by young people from Rhode Island. On the steps of the State House, Black youth between the ages of 8 and 21 spoke honestly and powerfully about their experiences within the racist system that is policing. They asked to be heard and respected. They asked adults for their trust and to use their power and privilege to support their efforts in securing their futures by defunding the police. The community has spoken crystal clear tonight. Listen to them and defund the police.